some great features which I will use in a custom home running Android 12 or Android 12.1 right now. My favorite features and why I will use them and how you can use these features. In this video, I'm going to talk about some different things. So stay tuned. Make sure to watch this video till the end. The video could be interesting for you if you know those features and if you didn't want it to, it's up to you. By the way, the version I'm using right now, the, the custom room I'm using right now is Cherish OS based on Android 12 L. I'm not talking about that. This room is my favorite favorite or etc etc because a lot of rooms are already there and my favorite rooms pixel experience and else i have already shared with you i'm just going to talk about some of my favorite features some of my favorite features which i always use or some of my regular use features which i use on my devices running custom rooms based on android 12 or android 12 l if we talk about this device specific or maybe a room specific things called a cherish os in this one i always try to use this theme which is oxen os 12 gigabs and this is available in previous update also it's available in the latest update also this thing which almost available in all the customers called a custom monet theming yes i sometimes don't want to use the wallpaper based theming so this custom theme works perfectly fine and i always use this thing but if this feature is not available for you you can try out the repainter app from the play store too we also have the fonts customizations which i 99 percent of times use and which font i always use most of the times mandrop which is by default included in evolution xos and also google sense is also one of my favorite and a lot of users always use this last one is harmony os sense these three fonts i always try to use on my devices if you talk about the icon pack, I think so most of the users will definitely recommend PUI which is Pavlova UI. I also use this icon pack because it is absolutely fine. You can also use the Arches one if you want to but PUI feels quite good. And yes, this is why I just use PUI on my device. And yes, if the room includes the VOD icons, we have a lot of VOD icons available. I sometimes use HD icon most because it does not take much space in status bar, which looks better. And battery icon to circle with battery percentage inside the icon. I'm talking about the settings which I always do after installing a custom room. If you talk about the brightness slider, I use always option. I don't know if you like this or not, but I always use this thing and auto brightness icon hidden because I don't use auto brightness at all. That option is also there. If I move on to the system navigation, you also have the option of IME button space and that's already disabled. I always disable this. If this feature is not available, I always use a magic module for that. So yes, this feature is must and if it is included in a custom home, I'll definitely give plus points to that one for sure. Power menu, of course, we need advanced reboot options and we need screenshot option. Other than else, those are some basic things, but two things for sure you need in a, in device or etc. Charging animation is just kind of optional. If it is available, I'll use this. If it is not, it's not a big deal for me. But if you move on the gaming mode, I have enabled it, but I don't use it at all. If you know me from some time, I don't play games, so I don't use gaming modes at all. But other than else, the settings are basic things, which I just want to let you know, I have already shared with you. I hope you like this. And this is all from today's short and simple video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share this. As always, I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through